and the CEO of NEO confirmed that uh, the company is currently working overtime to meet the high demand that they're facing. That's a good problem to have. So that suggests that June numbers could su surpass expectations. This commitment to fulfilling orders not only reflects the company's operational efficiency, but also dedication to customer satisfaction. So I think it's reasonable to expect that June's numbers surpass expectations. Moving on to their Q1 performance, Deutsche Bank has identified several positive trends. Increased sales volume, that's one of them. Neo's ability to sell more units is a clear indicator of a growing market presence. Risky, evolving and mounting, Neo's shareholders are on edge as they watch the company struggle. The recent annual meeting was a crucial chance for Neo to show it can turn things around. The pressure is intense, with stock prices slipping and the company lagging behind other Chinese electric vehicle makers. Investors are holding their breath, hoping for a solid plan to revive the company's fortunes in the second half of 2024. Neo's second quarter delivery target is within reach, but that's just one hurdle. The real challenge is whether the leadership can prove they have a solid plan for pulling Neo out of its slump. Can Neo's management deliver a convincing strategy to win back investor trust, or is the company on a path to deeper trouble? Analysts at Momu have given Neo a hold rating, predicting the stock could climb to $6.14, a potential increase of nearly 40%. This optimistic projection suggests that Neo might be on the verge of a significant upswing. But remember, these are just predictions, and the real challenge lies in whether Neo can meet or exceed these expectations amid its ongoing struggles. While these forecasts offer hope, investors should look beyond just the ratings. It is crucial to investigate Neo's financial health, stay aware of industry shifts, and understand the broader market conditions. Will Neo achieve this target, or will it fall short in the face of stiff competition and market pressures? Share your thoughts below. If you found this update helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more investing insights. Neo stock is seeing a modest rise of over 3% ahead of its shareholder meeting. However, this spike is surprising. The stock is still struggling below the $5 mark and has been performing poorly for a while. Whale Wisdom data reveals that institutional investors are pulling back from NEO, with the number of funds holding the stock decreasing by 6.17% since early 2024. Additionally, ownership and new positions in NEO have plummeted by 20.96% and 32.5%, respectively. The put or call ratio has also surged over 50% to 1.44, reflecting growing bearish sentiment. Experts are increasingly pessimistic about NEO. On tip ranks, the stock has five buy ratings, six holds, and one sell rating. Moreover, investor place Thomas Neal warns that NEO has sunk into penny stock territory and is overvalued, with a nearly $9 billion valuation despite heavy losses and stunted growth. Once seen as a promising player in China's electric vehicle market, NEO stock dropped over 45% this year. With a gloomy outlook and looming tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles, hopes for a turnaround seem exposed. After setting a new record in May, Deutsche Bank analyst Wangbin expects NEO to deliver 18,200 electric vehicles this June. This would be a 68% jump from June 2023, but a 12% dip from May's record-breaking 20,544 deliveries, which was up 234% year-over-year and smashed the previous high of 20,462 set in July 2023. Despite a slight drop from May's numbers, NEO is projected to surpass its second quarter target by delivering over 54,000 electric vehicles. Through the first five months of 2023, NEO delivered 66,217 electric vehicles, marking 51% growth from last year. After missing the first quarter estimates, Wang's team expects better results for the second quarter, estimating total deliveries to hit 54,200. Aligning with NEO's guidance of 54,000 to 56,000, in June alone, domestic sales reached 7,000 in the first two weeks, with new orders estimated at around 22,000 after a demo car discount. Following the launch of the 2024 ET7 in April, NEO has refreshed its entire lineup, now featuring models like the 2024 ET5, ET5T, EC6, ES6, EC7, ET7, and ES8 on the NT 2.0 platform. NEO recently introduced a new budget brand, Envo, to compete with mass market giants like VW and Toyota. The first model, the Envo L60 electric SUV, starts at $30,500, which is equal to 219,900 yuan, positioning it as a rival to Tesla's Model Y. Wang's team believes NEO can achieve over 20,000 monthly deliveries with help from the Envo brand. Next year, NEO plans to launch a larger electric SUV under the Envo brand, with more models in the pipeline. NEO's president and co-founder, Qin Li Hong, confirmed the construction of a third factory. 
The company aims to boost production capacity to 1 million, which is comparable to Tesla's Shanghai plant. Li Hong stated that NIO's current single shift production is adequate and there is no overcapacity issue. Despite these developments, NIO stock has plunged over 47% this year and is down 92% from its February 2021 peak of over $62 per share. Other electric vehicle stocks have also suffered, with Rivian dropping 48%, Lucid falling 39% and Tesla decreasing 26% year-to-date. Meanwhile, Tesla is anticipated to face a challenging second quarter in terms of deliveries. Wall Street projects 450,000 vehicles, down from 466,000 in the second quarter of 2023. Yeah, you know, I think you spoke to this geopolitical environment. 168 ongoing conflicts, two regional wars, and yet people here are very focused on both the economic opportunities, the challenges to growth, and what's next? I mean, we have 1,700 participants here coming from over 80 different countries. And you know, a lot of the sessions are standing room only. Even you know, people queuing up outside the room uh, looking to get in. There's just so much demand. I think one of the hottest topics has been particularly around new energy vehicles, uh, electrical vehicles, batteries, storage. Uh, these domains where China's been playing a leading role. And uh, you know, people actually, what does that mean for everybody else? Like other Chinese electric vehicle companies, NIO has faced tough times recently. Its stock has crashed over 93% from its all-time high, and its market capitalization has nosedived from over $84 billion to just $8.9 billion. NIO's latest financial results show trouble, with vehicle sales dropping 9.1% to a little above $1 billion and total revenue falling to $1.37 billion. NIO is battling both internal struggles and fierce competition. Rivals like Xpeng, BYD, Tesla, and Huawei crowd the market, while international players like VinFast and Ola Electric are also stepping up. Despite this, NIO claims it's ready for a comeback with new models and increased deliveries. Supporters believe NIO is still a strong brand, backed by $6.3 billion in cash and short-term investments. Analysts rated bullish and set a target price of $8.48, compared to the current $4.30. Additionally, critics argue NEO is still overvalued and faces ongoing challenges. The weekly chart shows that NEO's stock has long struggled below the 50-week and 100-week exponential moving averages. However, there are signs of a bullish breakout as the stock forms a falling wedge pattern, a positive signal. The next key level to watch is $6 if this breakout occurs. Moving forward, let's analyze NEO's stock more. A cursory glance at NEO's earnings per share reveals a concerning trend with negative figures for the past five quarters. This translates to losses per share, indicating that the company is not yet generating enough profit to cover its operational costs. The earnings per share has exhibited a further decline since the first quarter of 2023, raising questions about NEO's profitability trajectory. However, interpreting negative earnings per share needs a critical lens. Companies in their high growth phase often prioritize reinvesting profits back into the business. This strategic move fuels research and development, expands production capacity, and bolsters marketing efforts. NEO's negative earnings per share presents a complex picture. While it raises concerns about profitability, it could also be a strategic investment in future growth. A thorough analysis incorporating revenue growth, industry trends, and competitive dynamics is essential before making investment decisions. Furthermore, looking at the return on equity metric, NEO has been facing a negative return on equity, indicating that it generates negative earnings relative to shareholders' equity. This means that NEO is not currently delivering profitable returns on the investments made by its shareholders. The return on equity has also declined since the first quarter of 2023. While a negative return on equity is not a good sign, it's not necessarily a deal breaker for every company. Some growth companies, like NEO, may be willing to accept a negative return on equity in the short term in order to invest in their future growth. The key is to look at the bigger picture and see if the company is progressing towards profitability. NEO's negative return on equity is a cause for concern, but it's not necessarily a reason to write off the stock. The company is still in the growth phase, and it's possible that its return on equity will improve in the future. Investors should carefully consider all of the other factors, along with the earnings per share, as discussed before, when making an investment decision. NEO is at a crucial point in the electric vehicle market. Challenges remain despite aiming for strong second quarter deliveries and launching new models like the Envo L60. The recent shareholder meeting was crucial. It was a chance for NEO to show a clear plan forward as its stock prices dropped and some investors lost faith. On the other hand, analysts see some potential growth, but doubts persist. Institutional investors are pulling out, and more people are betting against NEO. The company's stock has plummeted from its high point, 
raising questions about its value and future. Consequently, NEO has money in the bank and plans to expand its factories, but it's still struggling financially. Competition is fierce, both from Chinese rivals and global giants. The question is whether NEO's leaders can develop a solid plan to meet and exceed expectations. Can they convince investors that NEO can bounce back and thrive despite tough competition and market ups and downs? Share your insights in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like our hand-picked, action-packed newsletter about NEO. Subscribe now at wiseinvesting.com. And that's it. Make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons down below. Additionally, if you want to know about NEO stock, just click this video here. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more exciting content in the future.